You know, a lot of times people ask, what's your favorite game of all time? And for me, my go-to answer is Zelda 2. But then somebody might ask, what is your least favorite game of all time? And for me, that answer is Time Commando for the PlayStation 1. For a few reasons. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here regaling the story on how I was introduced to Time Commando, and it was my own fault. <sighs> Gotta make sure I can see good for this one. This is, whew, we'll see if it's still holds up, or in this case, does it still hold down? Because <laughs> I, I know it doesn't hold up. I promise you it's not going to hold up, but will it hold down? Probably. How I was introduced to this game was we just got, and we didn't get a Toys R Us in my town until much later in life. I was in my late teens, like I was like 19 or 20 when we finally got a Toys R Us in town. And it was around that time that I finally had a job. I had a retail job. I was working at Rite Aid at the time. So I actually had some money that I could actually just go out and buy a video game. This was kind of the first time in my life where I had some cash to actually purchase a video game every paycheck if I wanted to. I, mean, I still I still rented games mostly because it was just the cheaper way to go about it. And sometimes when you finally have your own disposable income, even a little bit, that's when you can supersize it. That's when you can say like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm gonna just buy this just because I can. You experience that for a moment and it's usually, it usually kind of comes and goes. Sometimes it never leaves and that's when people get in a lot of trouble. But we happen to go to Toys R Us and we're just looking down the video game aisle, checking out the new games for the PlayStation 1. And then here's this game called Time Commando. And I've never heard of Time Commando. Never saw it in any magazine. Never, just never, never came across it, ever. Here's an interesting game, Time Commando. The front looks like CGI, okay. The back of the cart looks like the kind of game that I would probably typically play. You know, it, it's certainly something that they couldn't do on Super Nintendo. Got that CGI looking area with the CGI looking characters. The game, I don't remember how much it was, but PlayStation 1 games were generally cheaper than cart games. So it sold for, I think it was like $49.99. So I was like, you know what, blind faith, gonna take a gamble at it. Looks like a pretty cool game. I got an extra 50 bucks. I grabbed the game, or grabbed the ticket rather, because it was Toys R Us. Slapped it on the counter. I didn't do that. No, I just, I, I bought the game and I came home and I played it. That's when I was like, okay, I can't just be doing this all the time because this game is pretty bad. And I tried to get into it. And I remember I tried to play it a few times. I honestly didn't keep it for very long. I did take it in, trade in credit or whatever they offered at Software Etc. later. So I didn't even hold on to it for very long, but just the memories stuck with me of just because you can doesn't mean you should. And Time Commando for the PlayStation 1. It was one of those games, again, more than nostalgia for me for anything. It's like I had extra money, Toys R Us, bought the game on blind faith that I might like it. And I've done that before and have come across some great, great games that maybe I typically wouldn't have, especially for a game like Time Commando, because again, I rented games all the time, and I knew which stores had all the games in my area. Time Commando was not one of those games I could have rented at the time, unless it was like brand new, and I just didn't know it. It was like the first time on the shelf. Could have been the case too, I don't know. But yeah, all it was was, for me, playing it just a couple of times, saying, nope, 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 not, not for me, not for me. Wasted 50 bucks. I couldn't even tell you how much trade-in value I got for it. Doesn't matter. I learned my lesson, and I'm going to play Time Commando at least for a little bit, for the first time in let's see, 2024 came out in 1996, so almost 30 years ago. Good lord. Yeah, two two away from 30 years ago. So it's like 27, 28 years old now. Oof. I do not want to be interrupted when I do this. So putting my phone on all the silence. There we go. Okay. Because doesn't that happen to you? You're playing a game, then all of a sudden somebody calls and something like that, and you're just like, it just takes you out of your element. It's always a spam call anyway, right? Well, I want to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, you can say, you know, take me off your list or whatever, but that only counts for one. It doesn't count for all of them. It's the data brokers who are making a fortune selling your information to these robocallers, and we got to put an end to it. Not just your phone number, but like where you live and stuff. It's scary. Well, Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info, submit opt-out requests on your behalf, and they legally have to remove you and your information from these gigantic lists that they're going to. It's rough for you to do it alone, and I know you've tried, but let Aura do it all for you. Easy to set up, don't have to download a whole bunch of different apps. Uh, it includes things like antivirus, parental controls, VPN included in this. Gotta love that VPN. Password management, online uh, identity, theft insurance, and so much more. You have fun, do the things you love to do, and let them take care of the dirty work, you know what I'm saying? Or you can let them exploit you for profit. I wouldn't recommend it. My link is in the description below. I want to get you two free weeks of Aura. Aura.com slash John Riggs, and you'll get two weeks free. All right. You ready for this? Time Commando for the PlayStation 1. <sighs> All right. I think I got this. I think I got this. 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 Okay. It's been a long time. I got this. 
Let's 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 check it out. It's better better than that THX sound. That's for sure. Well, that looks a little glitch, but okay. I just I'm playing this from a mister, so bear with me. But I haven't I haven't seen this game since 1996. I'm sure it's even worse now than it was then. We'll see. That's kind of cool. I don't remember that. Oh, there you go, Activision. I remember Bryce. It was like a uh, like an AI generated landscape thing. I remember that logo reminded me of uh, Bryce. March All right. Oh, six hundred Future hours. year. <laughs> Oh, that building in the background. Oh, that's where we're going, is that building in the background. An elite combat training facility. Huh. I want to say I remember, even in 1996, this didn't this look the power to as good as other games. Combat. Past sabotage. Look at this guy. That's why the military created SAVE. Special oh. action for virus nice elimination. Suit. 0630. <laughs> why did he jump in the chair like that? Leopard starts his shift. You gotta cut off the circulation with a chair like that. Were palm pilots a thing back then? Maybe they were. Or maybe they're starting to be a thing. I don't think they were Until a thing. Disaster then. strikes. Chilling at work. They didn't even have the processing to put the arm like the An fingers for manipulated. A rival corporation has infiltrated the top ranks of oh, look at this guy's hair. His mission? Sabotage. Is Nostradamus? He's the bad guy. Got that got that special uh he virus chip the system with a specially designed predator <laughs> virus <laughs> oh. with no regard for right, zip disks. Yeah, we're still using those in the future. That's right. Lodging itself in the computer's memory. He's the hacking the system. Ah. Distortion it turns red. That, that means bad news. It wouldn't just shut power. down or anything. They wouldn't have like security measures in place or anything like that. You know. Well, whatever. Uh oh, no, no, run, 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 run. That's an interesting sound. Hold on, play that sound again. Huh. Hey, that, a class one alarm. That was literally the game. The highest that was literally this game that we're about to play that he was playing. That's how that's how time works. Apparently. Yeah, gross. But this is no ordinary virus. Alright. Okay. Save the computer from the rapid. You know, the voice work isn't virus. bad. The 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 narrator? Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's like Stargate. Oh. No amount of training could have prepared Goodbye. for the dangers ahead. There we go, time commando. <sighs> Fine. So we'll go to the options first. Sound and control. Oh, come on. Options should always have the feature of difficulty and how many lives do you want and how many continues do you want. Sound and well, I guess control helps. Oh god, I'm glad that's not impossible to look at. For a oh, there we go. Easy. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Goodbye! A little Buck Rogers for you. Okay, come on, Time Commando. Oh, boy. So I remember looking at the back of the box thinking, like, oh, this is this is going to be an awesome game here. It's not 2D, 3D. It is tank control. So here's left, here's right. Back is back up, and then up is forward. So it's going to be that Resident Evil style. But the more you progress... Oh. I can't... I can, if I... Okay, I have a punch. And a jump. Whoa! And I have a rock. Where's my punch? Okay, so holding square is stance, is to square up. And then I can left and right. Oh, I'm going to be right in his face, apparently. Okay. Well, how do I put There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Yeah, I have to like... Okay, so... God. So square... The square button is to square up, which is kind of funny when you think about it. Hold square to square up. That's your stance. And then that's up, that's left, that's right, and then down is block. So the controls could work if anything else worked. Oh my god! Oh, let's let's throw a rock at this guy. There we go. <laughs> I got two rocks, and I'm sure you've probably figured it out or in some capacity. Oh, Bill Sabertooth. Um, is that every stage takes place in a different time, right? But the introduction to take place in prehistoric times is not 
quite the good look it should be. That little table back there, you can just walk around on top of it, it's fine. Okay, here's my running. Slide down here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let me grab... Uh, are they, what do you do? Oh, you're throwing rocks at me, I think. Are these chips something? Okay. Nope. You know, the, the kick's the best thing, I think, so I'll just keep doing that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, give me that club. I think I, I think I can use the club, if I remember correctly. Again, my memory's not so great. Oh, they gotta fight the woman now, too. The one who's throwing rocks at- Oh, she's a runaway? Really? Wow. Alright. There we go. Got the club now. Who wants to go clubbing? Batter up. Uh, is this a save? What is this? It's, I don't know. Ooh! No, oh, come on! You know, maybe I could just do back up. Where's my, uh, back? Is it square? There it goes. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tell me I gotta fight this guy. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, that's good enough. Ah! That was pretty cool. Okay, that, I gotta admit, that was kinda cool. 